Free flight aircraft. What is free flight? Why do free flight airplanes fly? Are the same principles used as manned aircraft? Why are they able to fly in turbulent air? Hello, I'm Fred Mathis, the founder of FlyM. We design and manufacture free flight aircraft. When you fly an aircraft that you've built with your own hands, it's thrilling and rewarding. This DV will be covering the principles of the flight for those aircraft. We're hoping it's going to be informative and will allow you to have fantastic flights. What is free flight? On the ground, the pilot adjusts balance, rudder tabs, aileron tabs, elevator tabs, and the thrust angle to achieve the desired flight path. This is called trimming. When launching the aircraft, the pilot uses an external force, guiding the aircraft in a straight path at the proper launch angle, releasing the aircraft when it is up to minimum flight speed. The aircraft is then in free flight without pilot control. Why does an airplane fly? Because the propeller turns? Because air flowing over the wing creates lift? Because it has a motor? Because it has a tail? Because air flowing over the wing creates lift? What if an aircraft does not have a propeller? How does the wing create lift? Converts a downward change in altitude into forward motion? Converts potential energy into kinetic energy? Use motion obtained from the launch? or all of the above. All of the above are contributing factors for lift. Vector analysis. What is vector analysis? Is it to figure out our friend Victor? Is it to determine what a vector is? To guess the flight length of an aircraft? Or to determine the effects of forces? It is to determine the effect of forces. Vectors are symbolic representation of forces on an aircraft. The vector's length can represent weight, lift, or other forces that may impact flight. The arrowhead shows the direction the force is applied. All aircraft have weight which is counteracted by lift created by the wing. If both forces are equal, level flight is achieved. Assume the Michigan Butterfly weighs 20 grams. During level flight, the lift vector is also 20 grams. If the propeller turns faster, the Michigan Butterfly gains altitude. What is happening to the lift vector? The lift vector is now larger than the weight vector. What would happen if the propeller turns slower? The aircraft will descend. Now we are going to talk about dihedral, turbulence, and stability. The angle of the wing relative to horizontal is called the dihedral. Lift always occurs perpendicular to the wing. The component of the lift vector that pulls against the weight vector is parallel to the weight vector. All vectors have two components that are at 90 degrees to each other. This relationship maintains desired flight orientation. What is turbulence? Like a fast moving stream of water flowing over rocks? when a fluid is moving around like boiling water. Air as it flows around or over buildings, trees, etc. A root crop like potatoes, or all of the above. Answers 1, 2, and 3 are correct. Aircraft must constantly deal with turbulence. Even with a small amount, the aircraft needs to be able to right itself. Remember, there is no pilot on board to make corrections. Looking at an aircraft with no dihedral for comparison, notice the lift vectors have no components they are parallel to the weight vector. Regardless the size of an aircraft, turbulence will be stronger on one side of the wing compared to the other. This causes more lift on one side rotating the plane. Compare the lift components between the two aircrafts. The lower wing lift component is larger on the dihedral. Both lift components are the same on the no dihedral wing. With the force of the turbulence removed on the dihedral wing, the larger lower wing lift vector component will lift up the lower wing tip. As the lift vectors become equal, wing tips level out. The no dihedral wing has no difference in lift vector components. 
Therefore, it will usually continue banking and spiral out of control. Piloted aircraft will also use dihedral. This is usually a smaller angle, 5 to 10 degrees. Small amounts of turbulence will be corrected automatically by the dihedral. The pilot is able to correct for the strong turbulence. Hopefully all this information gives you a good understanding of how free flight aircraft achieve great heights. But remember, if you don't put this information together, it'll be useless. So get out there and fly an airplane. You can see the full Fly M Air Force at www.fly-m.com.